Hey everybody and welcome back to another Die With Rain video. Today we're going to be doing some regular dyeing like I normally do and we're also going to be doing a little bit of glazing. So here I have my gloves on and I want to make a yellow color. So we're going to take some Jacquard Sun Yellow and make a stock solution because yellow doesn't really bode well if it sits for a while so the yellow that I'd made before was already nasty so I went ahead and threw that out and I'm gonna make some new I like to make jars that have two grams of dye and 200 milliliters of water it is a 1% stock solution because you still have one gram of dye per 100 milliliters of water we're just making 200 milliliters of a 1% stock solution. Hope that makes sense. You can check out another video I've made. I will link it up in the top right screen in the eye, and that'll help you a little more on the math of how I get my stock solutions. So I mixed my powder into my water a little bit differently this time, and I don't recommend doing it this way because it creates a lot more dust into the air. I always wear my respirator when I am mixing any acid dyes and I have the powder version out. If it's mixed into a stock solution, you don't have to wear your respirator, but as long as it's in powder form, you really need a respirator. And this way creates more dust, but I did find it to be a lot faster. So I just poured it in there and mixed it and you always want to use hot water as hot as your tap can get so that the powder dissolves a little bit more easily and makes the stock solution. So we're going to pour that into our jar and I always recycle my glass jars so I'm using a recycled glass jar here and I always give it a really really good shake and that really gets the last little bit of dye all mixed together and stick a label on it and you have your stock solution. So I have a big restaurant steamer pan that I use to dye in and I will leave links in the description box for my respirator and my dye pan where I got them and I always line these with plastic wrap so I can wrap my top up and steam it so it doesn't felt. I'm using non-superwash merino wool comb top and I let mine soak in citric acid and water. You need to let it soak for at least 20 minutes. I usually let mine soak for a few hours and that's a really crucial step to make sure that the dye when you pour it on it actually soaks into the fiber and it doesn't just kind of run everywhere and it won't really stick very well if you don't do this step. So what I'm trying to go for here is like a mustardy yellow color, like a nice autumn yellow. That's what I'm going for. So I tried taking uh, about a milliliter or two of the phone by Dharma and mixing it in with my Jacquard Sun Yellow. I mixed that one or two milliliters into about 30 milliliters of my sun yellow and as you can see it looks like a nice color here but I'm a very light-handed dyer. I don't like to add very much dye and I try to start out slowly and work my way up and if I could go back I probably would have diluted my dyes a little bit more. I probably would have added about uh, 200 milliliters of water on top of the 200 milliliters of sun yellow that I mixed up and then I probably would have added around 60 or maybe even more uh, milliliters of the fawn because you got to remember fawn is a light brown it doesn't have much of the brown pigment as is and that's a Dharma shade so maybe I needed to use a darker brown and about the same amount of dye or just add more of the fawn color so this is about the closest I got to the color I was wanting to get was this last little bit of batch here and I didn't want to do the whole braid uh, this yellow color I wanted to add a nice dark deep dark brown to it as well so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here so for this brown I took teddy bear brown by Dharma and I mixed uh, about 200 milliliters of water with about 70 
milliliters of Teddy Bear Brown 1% Sock Solution to make this deep dark brown shade, which I wanted to put on uh, varying parts of the comb top. So I used my squeeze bottle and put it on mostly the areas that were white and some of the other areas in the rest of the braid. So the idea that I had for this braid and the inspiration that I wanted was not quite looking the way I wanted it because as the yellow set there and kind of settled, it got a lot lighter than I wanted. So I knew I was going to have to glaze over this. So I finished adding my teddy bear brown and I went ahead and steam set it. I just roll it up in cellophane and I have water in here and my little steamer basket on top and I just take it like a big log and wrap it and put it in there. So I covered it with my lid and it doesn't have to sit very long. Once it starts steaming I go ahead and turn the heat off. So I went ahead and tried a glazing technique on this comb top. I got my pot and I filled it up with tap water almost all the way so that it would fully submerge the two braids of fiber and I added about 20 or 30 milliliters of foam in with all that water so it was still pretty diluted. I've got my heat on medium and I covered it up and just let it sit on medium uh, till it got nice and hot probably about 20 minutes or so and I added a little citric acid about halfway through but you cannot move this once it's in the pot, it cannot be moved. And I made the mistake of turning it over a couple times, so it got slightly felted. So, you live and you learn. So unfortunately, there won't be a nice mustard yellow listed in today's restock. You can check the description box down below for the link to my Etsy shop if you would like to check out what I have. But we will be doing a video on spinning this in the future and I will show you how it goes. It's only slightly felted, so it is definitely spinnable, and it's going to make some gorgeous hand spun. So here's how it turned out, and you guys, it is gorgeous. Don't be afraid to show your mistakes. Nobody's perfect, and we all learn from mistakes. That's how everybody learns. So I can't wait to spin this up with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.